faith is not a feeling. Second Corinthians 5 verse 7. We live by faith, not by sight. Faith is not a feeling. Some people base their spiritual experiences on feeling and emotion. The Bible says, Faith is not a feeling. For faith to be consistent, it must be based on something with more stability than your feeling. For your faith to be consistent, to be genuine, it must be based on something with more stability than your feeling. Feelings are influenced by temporary things. What do I mean? What we see, what we hear, what we read, what others tell us. The question you need to ask yourself, what could be more stable than feeling? What could be more stable than feeling? This is the question you need to ask yourself that. What could be more stable than feeling? Remember, everyone is exposed to things that are not consistent with God's words. Breaking news. Problems arise when feeling and emotion change. Problems arise when feeling and emotion change. Today, so many claim to be Christians. And they are controlled by Satan's devices. If you are a Christian, you must be controlled by the Spirit of God, which the Bible refers to as right reason. Let someone say right reason. I can hear you. If you see something like this, you do not take it the way it is until it is examined in the light of God's word. When you see something like this, You don't take it the way it is until it is examined in the light of God's will. If I say something as a Christian, I will not take it the way it is until I examine it in the light of God's will. Because faith is not a feeling. 
feelings are influenced by what we see, what we hear, what we read, what we touch, what others tell us. Ask your neighbor, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? I can hear you. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? That is the question. Take your pen. Read the book of Acts 19 from verse 1 to 6. When you get home. Listen. If you have the Holy Spirit, of what value is he to you? Ask your neighbor. Ask your neighbor once again. Ask the viewer, those who are under the influence of this telecast. If you have the Holy Spirit, of what value is he to you? Remember the first question. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? If you have the Holy Spirit, of what value is he to you? Take your pen and write John 7. Start your reading from verse 38. And Romans 8. You take your reading from verse 12 to 15. And take your time to read the book of Galatians 3, verse 2. And the Romans 14, you take your reading from verse 17. The question If you have the Holy Spirit, of what value is He to you? Because faith is not a feeling. A Christian who is controlled by Satan devices would take anything he sees, he reads, he hears, and he touches the way they are. The Christian is commanded to walk by the Spirit. Well, you take your time to read the book of Galatians 5, verse 16 there. The Christian is commanded to walk by the Spirit. In 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 19, quench not the Spirit. Grieve not the spirit. If I see something like this, as a Christian, I must examine it in the light of God's will. Because a Christian walk by faith, not by sight. We all learn what happened to Elisha servant in the book of Second King six fifteen. You take your time to read 
What actually happened there? It is a lesson to us today. Today, when we are facing an immediate situation, we are grieved by panic and fear and then begin to run after men of God without faith. That was exactly what happened. What happened to Elijah's servant? He ran after his master when he saw chariots and instruments of war. Master, they are more than us. These people are more than us. And the master replied to him, Don't be afraid. For they that are with us are more than they that are with them. What does this mean? This means they that are protecting us, they that are supporting us, are more than the forces of the adversaries. This statement is spoken to all faithful Christians, to all faithful children of God, who without are fighting, who on the outside are fighting, and within filled with fear. They will say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. When that's inside them, full of fear. When they hear, boom, they open their eyes. <laughs> they say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Because the war is still very far. The land that uh, there is a war in the Atisola, we begin to close up, in the name of Jesus. But when we now realize that the war is very close to the gate here, we, we, will, not be able, we will not want to close our eyes again. This statement is spoken to all faithful Christians, all faithful children of God, who without are fighting and within filled with fear, filled with tension and pressure, filled with trouble, filled with panic. You will see them waving their hand in worship, fasting and praying, but within, filled with fear. You say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praying and fasting, waving hands in worship, but within, filled with fear. Let someone say, faith. It's not a feeling. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Faith is not a feeling. Jesus is willing to hear you now. He's willing to bless you now. He's willing to deliver you. 
If you are not healed now, it may be to strengthen your desire for him. Because he realized that if I give you that healing now, instead of pressing the more, new desire will take your zeal. New responsibility will take the zeal. Say, you are not strong enough. If you are blessed now, you go back to the world. He is willing to heal you now. His desire to heal you now. If you are not healed now, it may be to strengthen your desire for him. He's willing to bless you now. If you are not blessed, it may be to strengthen or to prepare you for the challenges ahead. He's willing to deliver you now. If you are not delivered, it may be to keep you for a new level or to preserve you for redemption or to reform you for a better position in Christ Jesus. Open the eyes of my heart I want to see Lord, I want to see you, to see you, to see you. I am lifted up, shining, Lord, shining in the light of your glory. For out your oh, be to God. It is God's way to heal you now. If you are not healed, it may be to strengthen your desire for him. It may be to prepare you for challenges ahead. It may be to preserve you for redemption. It may be to keep you for a new level. And a new level you need some experience. It may be to reform you for a better position in Christ Jesus. It is his will to bless you now. If you are not blessed, it may be to strengthen you. Your desire for him. It may be to preserve you for redemption. It may be to prepare you for the challenges ahead. Because you are not strong enough. When you are blessed, you go back to the war. You forget your, your relationship. The Bible says you need God more in blessing than in poverty. You need God more in good health than in sickness. Before your desire for Christ can be strengthened, you must see the cause for losing hope in man. If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. Amen. So I want to take you to the book of John 5. Are you there? When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? Verse 7, 
Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. Why I'm trying to get in, someone else go down ahead of me. He had lost hope in man. He had lost confidence in man. The man in question. had lost hope in man, had lost confidence in man. Before your desire for Christ can be strengthened, you must see the cause of losing hope in man. When we lose hope in man, before receiving our miracle, we value our miracle and the reason for it. Are you there? When we lose hope, before receiving our miracle, we value the miracle. We value the blessing and the reason for it. It is his way to bless you now. It is his way to heal you now. It is his way to deliver you now. It is his own way to prosper you. If you are not healed now, it may be to strengthen your desire for him. And before your desire for Christ can be strengthened, you must see the cause for losing hope in man. The man in question had lost hope, has lost confidence in man. If the problem I'm having now, um, if I wait for a little while, I'm going to see the doctor. You have alternative. That total submission to his will can only come when we see the cause of losing hope in man. Total submission to his will comes. 